Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this makeup look and this is it with the bright lip. I've also um, tried it with the nude lip as well so you can see what that looks like. Um, it's a really neutral toned eye with a winged liner and it's um, really beautiful I think for a special event if you've got a ball coming up. Um, you know, you want your makeup to last all night, just kind of layering of some products. I'll just show you through what I would use. And I'm um, using all collection products, which are really affordable products you can pick up at the supermarket, which is, um, you know, if you want to do your makeup for your special event, then it's a good option to check them out. They're also cruelty free as well, and uh, they're also having some giveaways, and I'm doing a giveaway, giveaway with them as well. So just make sure that you stay tuned till the end of the video, and there'll be all the information there and in the down bar below so if you do want to see how I created this look then please keep watching so to start off I'm going to use my primed and ready smoothing makeup primer and I've used this a few times now and the consistency is really smoothing so it, it really kind of fills in the pores and actually smooths over the area so if you do have any uneven texture and um, it will actually sort of fill it in and smooth it out so it makes the found when you put your foundation on it goes on so much smoother a little goes quite a long way with this product, so you don't feel like you have to use heaps of it either. For foundation, I'm going to use the Color Match um, Flawless Finish Foundation. It's like a natural finish, and so the technology in this foundation is supposed to uh, adapt to your skin, so skin tone so that um, you don't have any mismatch foundation. And the colours that I have are 2 and 3, so this is Ivory and this is Cool Beige. I'm kind of somewhere at the middle at the moment, so I'm just going to mix them together and apply them onto my face. The awesome things about these um, cosmetics is that they are available in your local countdown here in New Zealand, so they're really easy to obtain and so affordable, and quite often they do have uh, discounts on the products. Um, so you can get them for an even better price. You can always use your fingertips to apply the foundation. You don't need to apply it with a brush. I just like to because I don't really like to keep my hands dirty, but it's totally up to you. So the foundation has a really nice natural finish. It's not too um, thick. It's, it's, um, it just sits really nicely and it has kind of a more natural dewy finish. So I definitely recommend it if you are kind of new to foundation or you don't want to spend an awful lot on trying to find different foundations that you might not like. Um, because the beauty with this product is that it is more natural uh, of a finish and it is affordable. So uh, you can always just give it a go. As well as having a, a really good base, I think the secret to a long wearing makeup, especially if you're going to be wearing it to your ball or a special occasion, is actually a layering of makeup. So you don't need to apply a lot of makeup and um, you know really thick layers, but actually putting on a few thin layers that are going to kind of stick to the skin and really help prolong the wear of your makeup. So um, I have applied the foundation, so I'm going to be using my Lasting Perfection Concealer. And this is a concealer that I heard of a long time before I got to try it. Uh, because, you know, Collection is uh, based in the UK, so all the UK YouTubers uh, were talking about this concealer because it is an amazing concealer. The coverage is really, really good, um, but the price is just pretty much unbeatable. So. As soon as uh, Collection Cosmetics came into New Zealand, this was the first product that I grabbed to try. So I definitely re recommend it if you're in the market for a new concealer. So I'm just going to use one that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone and start applying it underneath my eyes because I do want more coverage there. I've got uh, a little bit of redness in that um, from my skin, so I'm just going to apply it in a triangle and just hope to cover up some of that. I don't want to put the concealer all over my face, so I'm just kind of applying it in the high areas and um, under my eyes for extra coverage. And just going to um, rub it all in with my brush. I'm also going to put whatever's left on the brush on top of my eyelids as well to um, act as a primer for the eyeshadow. You don't want to put too much uh, concealer on your eyelids because it can actually start creasing. So just a thin layer, um, which is why I use just what's left over on my brush will work. 
So to set my face, I'm going to use the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Powder. Uh, this does have a mirror and a sponge with it, so I'll just give you a wee look. Um, this is what it looks like, and it's got a wee sponge and a mirror in the back. So you can apply it directly with a sponge, but sometimes I find that if I do apply it with a sponge, you do get a lot uh, heavier coverage, and I might not want um, to put down so much in one area. So I just grabbed like a fluffier blending brush, this one's a tapered one, and I'm just going to dust it on my face to just set all the products that we've put on. So by setting your um, foundation with a powder, you're really going to help with uh, the longevity of the makeup and making sure that the um, all the liquids will be locked in place and they won't move around on your face as the uh, night progresses. And just run a little bit of the powder over top of your eyelids as well where you pop down that concealer. So I'm really excited to try this product. This is the contour kit. It's the highlight and highlight highlight and sculpting kit. So I'll just give you a good look at this one. Um, so it's got the two shades. It's got the uh, contour shade, which is a sort of a cool tone brown as it should be, and a highlighting shade as well. So I'm just gonna um, give that a good swatch. So you can see those shades there, um, the contour shade and the highlight shade. And it's, it's quite good because it's not too um, dark and it's not gonna make your face look muddy. So I'm just going to grab a contour brush and dip it into the contour powder, tap off the excess because I don't want to kind of uh, get too much uh, and there can look, my face can start looking a little bit bruised, uh, especially if you're quite fair, you just want to go quite easy with the contour powder and just suck in your cheeks and sort of um, contour underneath the um, cheekbone. So when I'm um, teaching people how to kind of do basic contouring, I suggest that you go from the um, top of the ear up here and down towards, um, don't go any further than the end of your eye, just because if you bring it down too far, then it can kind of, it just doesn't look uh, natural. And then once I've kind of put that line in, I just blend it away. going to put a little bit on my jawline. Do want to look um, slim and chiseled for these photos. And I'm just going to get a smaller brush and dip it into the same contour powder and contour my nose. If you do find that if you ever put a little bit too much on, I just go back in with the um, fluffy blending brush that I had earlier and just run over it with any excess product that remains on the brush and it kind of diffuses the um, any harsh lines that I might have put down. Just going to get the same contour brush and kind of do a little bit around my hairline. I don't have a um, larger forehead so I don't like to contour too much around this area but just to kind of give my face a little bit more dimension. Next I'm going to use my um, Golden Glow Bronzing Block, so I've said before about this product it is similar to the Bobbi Brown um, Shimmer Bricks in that it's got a range of shades but you mix them all together and it gives you a nice glow. There is a uh, pink one and this is the bronze one, so I'm going to use that today. I'm just going to pick up a blush brush and I'm just going to grab a selection of the shades. Uh, maybe getting a little bit more of the darker end and I'm just going to start applying that uh, sort of in a, where my blush and um, bronzer would go. And because it is a bit more of a special occasion, there is um, willing to have a little bit more of a, um, a glow and a sheen to my uh, cheeks rather than you know an everyday look where I might want to go more matte. Then I'm going to grab that highlight shade from the uh, contour kit and I'm going to use a fan brush and just um, pop that along the tops of my cheekbones. Oh wow. 
it's quite a beautiful glow. I haven't used this one before, so. It's really, really beautiful. Who doesn't like to glow these days? Hmm. Cool. Just gonna take a big fluffy blending brush and make sure it's all buffed in. So I'm going to work on my eyebrows now, so I'm just going to brush them up with an uh, spoolie with nothing on them just to kind of get the hairs all going in the same direction and they're not kind of falling down, which tends to happen to me. And I've actually got two brow kits here today, but I think I'm going to use the blonde one. So as part of the giveaway today, I'm going to be giving away um, an eyebrow kit, so I'll just show you the different shades. So these kits are really neat, um, they come with three um, shades, so obviously your lighter, warmer, medium toned and dark, a clear brow gel and a wee brush as well. So um, I'm going to use the blonde kit, that was the blonde and this one here is the brunette one, so obviously darker shades, but um, this one here I can still get away with with my eyebrows and my blonde here but I um, wanted to try the blonde one today because I didn't want it to be too dark. But if you do uh, win the giveaway, you will have a choice of the blonde or the brunette um, brow kit, so you can just let me know what one, which one you would prefer. So I'm just going to use a uh, angled brush. I'm going to start brushing it through my brows. The nice thing about these brow kits is that you don't have to just have the one shade. You can, if you're feeling like you do want a more dramatic brow on a day, you can add a little bit to the, the, the tail of your brow and um, you can just mix it up really. <clears throat> Once I've done that, I'm going to grab the little tube of brow gel and just pop that through the brows that will just set the brows in place and make sure that they stay that way all night. So for the eye look today I'm going to use the Eyes Uncovered um, palette. So this is, um, it's got some really beautiful shimmery shades in here. Obviously light to dark, you can create your kind of smoky eye with it. And um, I'm going to use that because I don't want anything to crazy. I mean, I want this look to be quite wearable. Um, even though it is a special occasion, we don't have to go bright colours for it, just be quite neutral. So I'm just going to grab the highlight shade, which is this one here. And I'm just going to put that underneath my brows. I'm going to grab the next shade down which is kind of like a um, torpy, a shimmery torpy colour and I'm just going to use that, I'm going to buff that into the crease to start um, kind of getting, laying down some colour. I'm also going to go back into that contour kit and grab that brown colour with the same fluffy brush and I'm going to pop that through the crease as well just for a little bit more dimension. And just keep building that up until you feel like you've got um, a good amount of colour. I'm going to grab my uh, tapered blending brush and I'm just going to go into this. I'm going to go into the darkest one, which is kind of like a dark grey. And I'm going to use this and just start going in the outer V of the eye and um, bring it into that third of the eye. The shadows do take a little bit um, of building up which can actually work in your favour if you are looking at doing your own makeup for a special event and don't feel confident to just go in with really opaque uh, eyeshadows. You might be a bit frightened to try something new so if you try something like this 
um, you know you can always do a light wash of color over top of the eyes or and then just build it up to um, the required opacity or what you feel looks right but I mean a simple wash of color as well can look really beautiful And then I'm going to take the more um, pink toned eyeshadow from the Eyes Uncovered palette and I'm just going to apply that on the lid. I'm going to take that same pink colour and run it under my eyes and a little bit of that darker shade on the outer edges. And then I'm gonna grab the highlighter from the um, contour kit and I'm just going to apply that right on the inner corners of the eyes because it is really bright. And that will just gonna open up the eyes and bring a bit of light and dimension to them. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Eye Definition Liquid Liner and I used this in my cruelty free tutorial a couple of weeks ago and the uh, nib of the eyeliner is really bendy so um, it does give you a little bit more uh, precision when you're doing your eyeliner and, um, and it's a really affordable liner so you can grab one of these and it is black and it's not going to go all patchy and crusty and dry like some of the um, you know kind of cheaper brands do and this one is affordable but it doesn't flake which is really really good. So I've just done like a winged liner, you could choose whatever kind of liner you want but I feel because it is a lot more neutral on the eyes that I can go for a more dramatic wing and it will look uh, not too unbalanced. It's actually really difficult to apply your liner when you're holding a mirror, I'm so used to just being up close to a, a wall mirror and doing it so it takes a little bit more concentration. Just to go in my tight liner waterline, I'm going to use the Collection Eye Define It Lasting Color Liner and it's just in the color this is brown. So I'm just going to uh, use that kind of in the tight line area just to make sure that that area is dark and it doesn't show any skin through my lashes. You could always put this um, in your waterline as well. I'm just wondering, maybe I will. I'm just going to apply some uh, mascara, so I'm going to use my Divine Volume Lash Mascara. Uh, it will be giving away our mascara in the giveaway as well, so um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled at the end for that. So if you're the type of girl or guy that likes to wear uh, false lashes, then that's what I'm going to do. But if you don't, then just put on a couple of layers of mascara and you should be good to go. There is already, I mean, all that uh, depth and darkness with the winged liner, so it's not like if you don't wear false lashes, it's really going to impact the look. It's just what you feel most comfortable doing. But I find if it's a special event, I mean, who am I kidding? I wear them all the time anyway. But if it is a special event, then I'll definitely wear lashes. Pop them on the um, bottom lashes as well. I'm just going to pop on some lashes and be right back. Just to hide the lash band a bit more, I'm just going to go back in with the Eye Definition Liquid Liner and just go over the lash band. So for lips, I've got a few colours to choose from. Um, it really depends on what you're feeling because this is a really neutral look so you don't have to um, just stick to a neutral like a nude color you could go bright if you wanted to it's really up to you so I have got a few colors in the giveaway as well uh, I will be giving away a lipstick so you can try them they're really beautiful lipsticks they're called lasting color lipsticks and there are some more matte shades and the more um, sort of satiny shades and um, they come in a really beautiful array of colors I'll just show you um, these are some of them and these are kind of like my favorite ones 
um, so you can see here you've got your bright pinks and your more nude, nude tones. I might um, pop a, a nude on and show you what it looks like with that and then pop a bright one on after that. These smell really good as well. So that's what it looks like with this lipstick, it's number 22, so it is obviously um, quite a light nude, so if you were a light to medium skin tone I think it would work really well, or quite fair, but anything darker than that you might want to go sort of a shade or two down. Um, but I'll, I'll take this off and put on a brighter one as well so you can see what it looks like. So now I'm going to put on number two, which is Pretty in Peach, and it's kind of like a bright um, peachy pink colour, and um, just show you what it looks like. You can see how easily they apply. So that's that one there, I mean this look is so neutral that you can, it really depends on what you're wearing and if you want to wear a bright pop of lipstick or a more nudie neutral colour but I think it works both ways. So yeah, definitely give it a go if you want to kind of try the brighter lip, I think you can always try it and then just wipe it off and replace it with a nude if you're feeling like it is too bright. So that concludes my collection look today. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you are going to a ball and want to try out this look and you do, definitely um, tag me in your photos and let me see your recreations, it would be awesome. Um, it's the kind of look that is so easy to wear, um, you know you can change up the liner if you don't want a winged liner and just you know do a wee line across the top of your lashes or no liner at all and just layer up the uh, mascara and as I said you can wear lashes or no lashes at all so it's really up to you. Um, if you are interested in the giveaway just head on over to the collection website and I'll pop the link down below and you can just check out the blog post that they did with the um, best, beauty, best kept beauty secrets and um, and just kind of, if you want to write, comment down below one of the, um, one of my favourite items or my beauty, best kept beauty secret and you'll be in to win. And uh, so yeah, just make sure you comment in the down bar so that I know that um, you have visited their collection website. And uh, yeah, you'll be in to win the prize worth $65 which is the eyebrow kit, a mascara and a lipstick. So hope you will enter that. Collection also have a giveaway um, on their website so if you just go onto the main page you'll see that um, there is it's still with the best kept beauty secrets you can actually enter your own best kept beauty secret and you and a friend can win a year's supply of collection makeup which is amazing and I mean you can try all the products for yourself but definitely head along to countdown grab yourself some collection products that are really affordable they're cruelty free as well and uh, you won't be disappointed with them because they're pretty amazing so uh, if you like this video please subscribe give it a big thumbs up it really helps and um, as always just leave some requests in the down bar so that I know what you'd like to see next and until then I'll see you later bye